Come August, the Rio Olympics will offer the ultimate stage for the globe's best badminton players. With sport's biggest prize up for grabs and the world's attention firmly placed on this competition, earning a place to be part of the Olympic experience is a commendable feat itself. For growing badminton nations like Switzerland, participation is the main objective. Winning medals is a future goal and it isn't high on the priority list for now. For them, it's about getting their players to a standard where they can qualify for the Olympics. We want to have players at the next Olympics also, so we have a lot of focus on, on, on young players who are committed to, doing, to getting there. Uh, so we are working quite hard on that without forgetting that it's a system that should produce continuously not only for one Olympics or the next Olympics, but we want to produce players on a continuous base. And that, that is the, the, big, the big challenge in this, and that's why we have this centralized system. Our cameras were in the country's capital, Bern, recently to report on how the Swiss national team is working towards their ambitions. It began in August 2014, when Swiss badminton enlisted the services of experienced Danish coach John Dinesen. Once at the helm, he led a revamp of the infrastructure and helped educate the administrators and players on what's needed to take the sport to the next level in the country. My role here in, in Switzerland is, is actually trying to, to rebuild the system a little bit. Uh, we are trying to get it a little bit more professional than it has been and we are trying to, to build the training environment on a, on a highly professional level. And that's my, my, my biggest role right now, and of course taking player, care of the players on, on the daily practice. And then also in the, in the structure in general in, in Switzerland and the education stuff also. The whole mentality we have to change a little bit, the whole culture about what is performance sport, what is high performance sport, is a big difference. And uh, until now it's been defined a little bit how you think it is in Switzerland, but actually it's, it's the international uh, arena that decides what is high performance sport in badminton, and we have to, to to go in that direction. So we are trying to change the whole mindset on, on these things. That's one thing. The next thing is, of course, the resources, uh, the infrastructure. Swiss Badminton has adopted a centralized system where the national players come together to train. At the same time, they keep a close eye on junior camps held throughout the year for promising talents. There are also regional high performance centers being set up across the nation, and they hope this can help in the development of the players. It is important to support and encourage the development of the regional high performance centers. We want to improve the existing structure so that a good system will be in place and that will benefit the players in the long run. The players of the Swiss national team have definitely progressed in the right direction over the last few years especially with regards to the dedication and commitment to the sport. From time to time, they show good results, especially the juniors. The current Switzerland national team comprises a compact 12-man squad that trains almost every day. Although there are also young talents being groomed, numbers are low due to the perceived lack of opportunities for professional badminton players in the country. Swiss badminton is working hard to reverse this perception, and they're starting to see progress. I feel proud to be part of the Swiss national team. The main goal is to get to this team, and then try to stay in the squad. It's an honour to play international badminton for a small country. The sessions that we are, we are doing here, are actually, we are trying to, to get as much practice in as possible uh, because we need that. They, they, their base is not, is not strong enough, so we are trying to, to make their base a lot better. So we are doing a lot of basic stuff. The players have big challenges here also because there's a lot of pressure on them from, from the, the, the normal society in Switzerland, which is really focused on education. And we are, we are trying to convince them that it's, uh, if they really want to to uh, commit to badminton, we are willing to commit to them. Nowadays, it's structured much better. There's a physical coach who pushes us to our limits every time. It's challenging, but the organized system has been the main difference. With a solid foundation in place, 
badminton in Switzerland has been given a major boost. As long as everyone plays their part, a bright future is on the horizon. My hope is actually that, that badminton will be, uh, at one point, will be recognized as a professional sport in, in Switzerland in general. Through the, through the effort that the players are, are showing, also showing Swiss Olympic, who is the main funding partner here also, together with, with a couple of other funding partners. I, our aim is to show them that, that badminton is not just something that is happening on the side, it's something that uh, wants to push forward and wants to, to push the limits. Success can never be achieved without hard work and sacrifice. So judging by the clear direction and sheer desire, it'll only be a matter of time before Switzerland badminton reaps its rewards.